Hi, this is John Anderson with Cry for Zion from Jerusalem. I invite you to join me as we discuss on this coming 9th of Av the issues related directly to the destruction of the temple and what God is doing in his word prophetically today, how we as Christians from the nations should relate to that. Is it a positive? Is it a negative? Um, how did the prophets react? How did Jesus react to the destruction of the temple? And what can we learn from that today? These are some of the most cutting edge and controversial topics in the Christian world today. And as someone working with an organization, one of the few organizations that touch on the topic of Christians related to the Temple Mount and theological issues and relating to what our history is and the relationship to the Jewish people, I have noticed a awakening around the world to interest in the Temple Mount. That is clear, that is unified, but Christians around the world are split over it. Just like they are split over the issue of Israel, so they are split over the issue of the Temple Mount. There are many things that we need to focus on, I think, on the 9th of Av, but obviously this is the the day that the temples were destroyed, God's physical temples. What would happen if it were restored today, and how should we approach that? I invite you to join me in an exploration of those topics and to see what the Word of God says, see how Jesus related to that, and what his followers, we as his followers, what our reaction should be. So this is a very important time coming up. I look forward to studying these questions with you. We're seeing the restoration of Israel take place today. Just like it was destroyed 2,000 years ago, there is an inverse restoration of the destruction that happened, and it includes the temple in Jerusalem. What does that mean? And how should we respond? How should we get involved? I invite you to join me for that discussion. Blessings and Shalom.